Hi and welcome back to Rara's Adventures. Today we are doing an interview with Jackie and we also have Mandy, the new volunteer. Hi, still here. So hello and welcome. Thank you. If you have only just joined Hi. and would like to help support Rara's Adventures, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified when more films come out. Thank you for joining Rara's Adventures and helping spread awareness of different illnesses and disabilities. So today we have eight questions. Any you feel that you don't want to answer, just say pass and we'll move on. Okay. Okay? Yes. So, first question, what condition or conditions do you have? My condition is emphysema. Okay. Um, that's really it. I've got various aches and pains and things, but my diagnosed condition is emphysema. Yeah. And that's it really. Okay. When was your condition first diagnosed? I'm not completely sure. I think, because I was here, wasn't I? Mm, I was you were here, here, so it's within the last three years, certainly. Mm. Okay. Yeah. What were your symptoms before you got diagnosed? I was coughing a lot. I'd given up smoking yeah. a couple yeah. few years before. Brilliant. My sister Mandy here. That would yeah. be me. <laughs> kept accusing me of smoking again. Okay. Well, I couldn't work out why she had to say yes, a nasty cough. I, I did. I was, I was messing about. I was just saying, are you smoking too much again? Yeah. So, because I was coughing a lot. I wanted to go to the doctor. So, then I got a chest infection. So, I went to the doctors for that initially and got mm. obviously got that out of the way. And then I went back to the doctors once I was cleared up and said um, that I've got this cough and it's been going on for ages and ages. Mm. Uh, so, I was sent for a, I was sent to the hospital anyway. And I, I had polyps in one of my lungs as well, which they kept an eye on through the CT scan. Yeah. Um, but they haven't changed at all, apparently it's quite common. Um, and yeah, I was eventually I was diagnosed with uh, emphysema. Initially, he thought it was just um, acid reflux, what was it called? Didn't he also yeah. say at one point you had asthma? No. No? No, because I, I, I thought it was probably asthma. That's oh, what my first right. thought was the total disease. It's asthma, but, yeah. but of course it wasn't. It was a, yeah. the symptoms were just the cough. Made it were just a cough, yeah, yeah. really, yeah. Did it make you feel tired or? I'm all, to be honest, I'm always tired, so that's okay. quite helpful. Um, probably part of it, I Probably, think. quite possibly part of it, yeah. I do get a bit breathless nowadays. Yeah. Um, with just running around after the dog or things, silly things like that. Uh, so it depends on the day and everything. Yeah, so the weather and yeah, as well. Yeah, the, yeah, the weather does affect you a lot. Yeah. How does your condition affect you physically and mentally? Um, I can't do as much as I'd like to do sometimes. I'm, I'm, I have to take my time to do things more because I will get out of breath or I'll just start coughing a lot. So it affects me in that way. I don't know if my condition itself is affected me mentally, but I do suffer from depression, so yeah. I don't think my condition has actually affected that much. Would it be affected maybe because you're limited to how much you can do, so you get frustrated? Um, or not really? Well, I do get a bit frustrated, but I don't think that's called depression. I just think I've been depressed. Mm -hmm. I've um, not normally been on the antidepressants, I'm sure I've got one of the donkey sheets maybe. Mm. But, um, Again, that was down to me. It was down to her, uh, yeah. Uh, telling her that she needs to oh, go back to the doctor. I was in a terrible state at oh. that time. But, um, but only when I went on, on the antidepressants did I realise I actually suffered from depression. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. But mm. so, cause then I was completely different. But um, you know, I don't think my emphysema makes me depressed. It does. It is a bit frustrating. It wears you down, it. doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does wear me down mm. a bit. And sometimes, of course, sometimes I can't sleep, which doesn't help anything. Yeah. No, that's horrible. Yeah, because uh, I just cough, cough, cough all night long. Mm. That, that does make me very tired. Yeah, mm. of course. What are your managing tips to help you better manage your condition? Really, make sure you take your medication, obviously. Yeah. Never go anywhere without me inhaler. No. <laughs> 
and um, slow down. Is there anything that you know specifically triggers it? And you think like, I know that I can't do that or I can't have that? Some certain chemicals do. Right. Um, there's just the smell of them mainly. Yeah. Um, but not many that I actually use, obviously. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Nigel's e cig makes me cough. Oh, really? It, uh, yeah. it doesn't smell good, does it? It smells good, it's out of the door, but yeah, I, I don't like it because it would just affect me quite badly, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, windy days affect me. They make me tight chested. Yeah, days. yeah. Well, they've said I've got asthma again, but they, you wouldn't think the wind would make you short breath, would you? I don't you? know, though. It does. It sort of does impact on your lungs, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got suspicion that dairy might, so I try not to have too much dairy. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether that's true or not, though. So would that well, include dairy cheese, does produce, yeah. 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 Dairy it does produces produces more phlegm, yeah. so yeah. which can be. And do you get quite phlegmy with it? Okay. It's not. It's. It? Yeah, it's. I do. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. It's, sometimes it's awful. I feel like I'm drowning. I just can't get yeah. in. Yeah, but then if you had a bowl of ice cream, you're not going to enjoy that. No, it's no. That's a horrible, horrible feeling. Yeah. Um, but um, but I, don't, I haven't cut dairy out altogether. I'm not certain that it no, causes it, could. but it could be a trigger. Yeah. So you know, I try, try and limit it a bit. Okay. What would you advise from your own experience for people who feel they may have your condition? Go to doctors. And get yeah. checked out. Yeah. Definitely. Because yeah. it's not. So I I struggled with it for a long, long time. Mm. Um, and especially the drowning, you know, the feeling like you're drowning in your own body fluid, which is so unpleasant. Um, but just get to your doctor quicker than I did. Yeah. Because, you know, there are things out there that can help you, so you might as well use them. Yeah. You kept insisting it was just an infection dragging Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. No yeah. excuse. I just don't like going to the doctor. No. Nowadays, no, many people do. No. Mm. So yeah, get to your doctors as soon as you can, really. Okay. Um, is there anything you would like to share from your own experience that you think may help others with the same or similar conditions? Not really. I mean, it is just a case of slowing down and sort of taking your medication. And uh, if you're having a bad patch, then, you know, obviously just let yourself rest and yeah, so and if you yeah. think uh, chest infections can be very common in emphysema mm. Mm. and if you if you think if you go if you're coughing worse for more than about a week I'd say then then find your doctor. Does it put you higher risk at getting things like flu, pneumonia? I've had I have to, I'm supposed to have flu and I've had pneumonia injections, vaccinations. Yeah. So I didn't know they did that. Yeah, it's once it's a one off. Oh. It's a one off injection, you only have it once well, not in your life. Yeah, yeah, it's a one off. But uh um so they they do advise that to sort yeah. of to protect yourself. Um but other than that, not a lot really. Mm. I mean I wasn't put in a high risk category for this, for the COVID thing or anything. No. At all. So it surprises me as I know. it's long as that it's a I know, but I think because I'm, I'm considered mild at the moment, which I am, I mean, I'm not an option or anything like that. But you don't feel mild in the middle of the night not, when you can't no, 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 I don't sometimes, but, 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 but relatively, obviously, I am. But, um, but no, I wasn't for me. Have you been ever put in a position where you have to have the oxygen? No. 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 Okay. So what is the one positive thing that you can share that you have learned since living with your condition? Um, really, just to slow down, and, and you know, it's actually quite pleasant to slow down sometimes and not flash about loads of life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. retired from work, and I've yeah, got a little goal. Yes, yeah, so I just sort of, I don't sort of push myself to do everything on the same day. No. There's no need. No. no need to, so I just, I just enjoy my I think I'm life a bit more, I think, in some ways. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that is all the eight questions. Thank you. Thank you. So, 
thank you Jackie for sharing about your conditions help spread awareness um, and if you would like to do a interview with Rara's Ventures to help spread awareness please contact me on the links down below via email or social media um, and if you have only just joined please hit that subscribe button that will really help support what we are doing um, so that's all um, thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye! Bye.